Thank you. New this morning, local groups who rely on federal funds to help domestic violence victims say they expect less federal dollars this year. They fear this leaves some of their programs in jeopardy. WGEM's Ryan Hill is live in Quincy to explain the programs at risk. Ryan, good morning. Good morning. Now here at Quinnada and across town at the Advocacy Network for Children, they rely on federal dollars to help support their programs for abuse victims. However, changing their funding puts both their services and programs at risk. Now, the Chief Operations Officer for Quinnada Sexual Assault Program tells me they received an advance notice but did not expect half of their typical $200,000 in federal funds to get cut. She says their sexual assault services rely on this money. She says while they are looking at grants and hoping the state can make up for some of the lost money, she says if they don't receive the money by July 1st, they will have to make some changes can impact our ability to serve clients in our communities. Um, this can cause wait lists for counseling services, um, wait lists for legal advocacy services. She says their in-person response service for victims who go to the hospital for sexual assault could also be reduced. Now, the Advocacy Network for Children's executive director says he doesn't know yet how much federal funds they will lose. But he says depending on the amount, it could affect the mental health services they offer. He says they are looking at grants to add more funds to their organization. Both groups are hoping that the state will be able to provide some money to help cover the loss in federal money. Live in Quincy, Ryan Hill, WGEM News. Ryan, thank you. And Quinata's chief executive director says the depletion in VOCA funds stems from money being directed to the U.S. Treasury. She says the issue is fixed. The money now goes back into the fund and not to the Treasury. However, she says it will take some time to build the VOCA funds back up. If you would like to donate to Quinata, we have a link on our website at WGEM.com.